Cancer can happen for a variety of reasons. About 5 to 10% of cancer is hereditary, meaning the cancer has a genetic cause. You inherit your genetic information, or genes, from your parents and pass it on to future generations. Genes are the instructions that tell your body how to grow and function, including how to prevent the body from developing cancer. If an individual inherits a broken gene, also known as a gene mutation, they do not have the same level of protection against cancer and may have higher risks to develop cancer. Identifying people with broken genes allows us to take steps to reduce their cancer risks or identify cancers at an early stage where it's easier to treat. Genetic testing can help you and your doctor better understand your cancer risks and make a plan to reduce or manage those risks. It can also provide valuable information to family members as other relatives may be at an increased risk for cancer. Genetic testing is performed in a laboratory using a blood or saliva sample to look for broken genes or mutations that increase your risk for cancer. There are three possible results with genetic testing, positive, negative, and uncertain. A positive result means we found a broken gene that increases your cancer risk. This does not mean that you have cancer, just that your risks are increased. Your genetic counselor will talk to you about what cancers you're at an increased risk for and options to manage these risks. These could include additional screening, such as imaging or blood tests, or possibly risk-reducing surgery. You may also be referred to a healthcare provider to help you manage your risks over time. For example, if we find a broken gene that increases your risk for colon cancer, earlier and more frequent colon screening may be recommended. For individuals who already have cancer, genetic testing may provide additional treatment options. Family members may also be at risk to have inherited the same broken gene, and genetic testing would be recommended to help relatives better understand their cancer risks and options to manage these risks. A negative or normal result means we did not find a broken gene. This does not mean that you will never develop cancer. Increased screening may still be recommended for you or your family members based on the family history. Other family members may still need genetic testing. An uncertain result means we found a genetic change, but we do not know if this change leads to increased risk for cancer. We do not recommend changing your screening based on this result. We may recontact you if we learn more about this change in the future. It's important to keep in mind that any genetic test has limitations. There may be genes related to cancer that we have not discovered yet, or there may be mutations that cannot be detected with current testing technology. In addition, a genetic test result may or may not fully explain your personal or family history of cancer. Some people have concerns about how genetic information may be used by insurance companies and employers. Current state and federal laws prevent most health insurance companies and employers from using genetic information against you. However, these laws do not apply to life insurance, long-term care insurance, and disability insurance. Most insurance companies cover the cost of genetic testing, and financial assistance may be available for those that do not have insurance. In addition, self-pay options are available. If you proceed with testing, you'll be asked to sign a consent form that reviews the information provided in this video. When your results are ready, you'll be contacted to discuss what your results mean for you and your family. Please don't hesitate to contact a genetics team member with any questions.